Hey guys, it's Yorkie here, and today we're going to be taking a look at a number of things, mainly featuring your driver profile, which we'll quickly start off with that now, as you can see here. Basically comes up with all your profile settings, so you can see your online performance here, how many wins you've got, how many podiums, how many races you've entered. Some nice general information about your basically your preferred steering inputs, the cars that you generally like running, the race's favourite track location. A signature car, apparently, that one. Really? I mean, I did a race in it yesterday, but that was about it. I did some bigger races yesterday. But, yeah. Interesting one, that. <laughs> and then, obviously, you've got your career stats, solo online, and all that sort of stuff here as well. You've got a bit more in-depth career things here. These are your historic goals that you can choose at the start of your career. Then you've also got your accolades here. Various different challenges, some endorsements, and then any invitations to some special races, all that sort of stuff there as well. And then the highlights tab is basically any replays that you've saved, you can watch back through those as a spectator as well. So, let's get into the quick race, quick race weekend and free practice. Obviously a free practice session, you can go into this, you can set up a car, you can choose your track, you can then choose your settings. It's basically, it's just you on circuit, you can drive for as long as you want with various settings. The track is fairly green when you first go out, so it will start to grip up the more you drive it. And also, same with the tyres, they won't come preheated unless that specific car does come with preheated tyres in the real world. So things like GT, LMP and Formula B, Formula A cars uh, will come with preheated tyres. However, other cars won't, so the tyres will come out cold and you will have to watch for that when you come out the pit lane. Just go into a quick race weekend then, again similar thing with choosing your car, also choosing your track, so let's quickly just choose a car, let's go touring, and here you go, there's a nice older 1990s, as you can see 1991 DTM Classic, let's choose, let's just go with that colour for now, you can cre create a setup from here as well, and let's just quickly choose a track, let's go spa just for the sake of it, just for example purposes. And then here this is where you kind of set up the AI and everything else like that. So obviously you can choose the number of laps that you want. This lap counter will go up to a 250 so you can do a nice endurance race. Number of opponent opponents will go up to however many pit slots there are on that track. So 35 I believe. There is a limit of 45 uh, AI drivers on console and I believe it goes up to 55 56 on PC. You can then choose what type of opponents you want, whether you want them identical, multi-class, which basically means anything within that specific class. So I went into the touring section. Anything, any car within this section will be featured in that race. So obviously we've got some more group A's, we've got a couple of slower ones there and you also got a clear cup. But basically anything within that section there in the multi-class will appear in this race. If you go same class, it will come with the same cars in that group. So I went into a Group A race, so I'll have the other two Group A cars, the Ford Sierra Cosworth and also a BMW E30, I believe it is. Same with any other. It's all dependent on the car that you choose. Or you can run with completely identical opponents. So the cars will be, the AI will be in exactly the same car that you're in. And then here you can choose basically the opponent skill that you would like them to run at. You then choose your grid position. You can have it random. So you can be anywhere on the grid. You can choose a specific position to start from on the grid. Or you can choose to start from the front, the middle, or the back. And then here you've got a rolling start option, which is AI control to begin with. And then just before the line, it will do a countdown and uh, you'll then gain manual control. And from there you can race onwards. And then obviously you've got practice sessions. These range up to 90 minutes, as you can see. You can, so you can set these up before the race. Same with qualifying, depending on the position that you finish in qualifying. That's the position that you'll start in. And then you've also got a warm up here which is basically like a little pre race warm up and it, this option if you go into that will allow you to choose a pit strategy as well and also edit your setup prior to the race these here are your weather conditions so you can start off with fixed weather and you can basically choose which one it is that you would like to choose like to race in obviously a fair few options there then choose whether to have well up to four slots 
and you can cycle between these so let's say we run with those settings it will cycle through those throughout the race it takes an hour to transition between each one so this will basically cover a four hour race if you've got four slots open but with whatever progression you can sync it to the race so say if you went 10 laps it'll do all four of these in the space of 10 laps you can have it in real time so like i said an hour but you can also accelerate the weather progression as well to make it quicker up to 30 times and it'll just cycle round in a loop through those weather options that you choose there okay the date type that you can see here you can choose the race date you can choose a custom date so basically your day and night cycle will match that track uh, and that season so say I went for January the night will be a fair bit longer than the day will be it starts it's obviously the sun will set a little bit earlier in the evening and then rise a little bit later in the morning likewise if I went into say summer obviously the day will be longer and than the night current date type this is quite interesting this is what I mentioned in the weather video that I did a while back basically showing you the 24-hour uh, day and night cycle this is what I meant by the real weather setting they've changed it slightly since then uh, essentially with the current setting it locks it to the current date and then basically it will run with whatever weather settings or whatever weather was happening in the real world at that track location so if it's raining right now in the spa and time for me at the moment is 20 to 1 so if I ran with 12 or we'll run at 12 o'clock or if I started earlier it'll basically cycle through the weather that was currently at that track and put it in the game and yeah you can drive with that so quite a cool feature there obviously time progression you can accelerate that up to 60 times obviously real time is a full 24 hour day and night cycle 60 times will be 24 minutes and then you've got everything in between there obviously two times will be 12 hours instead of 24 and yeah that's basically that for setting up ai races and i'm just going to quickly go into our online show you guys that as you can see if you go into the browser option there it will come up with a list of racing lobbies that are currently open it will also show whether they're private par password private or not you also get a name you also get a little bit of a description uh, or you can choose the name in there and say what kind of race it is but you can see from here obviously you've got a karting race a touring car and a gt3 are currently running at the moment with a number of players in the lobbies as well going back you can also create shut up you you can also create your own uh, obviously online lobbies you can choose your track, you can choose the car and then very similar settings to how it was in the single player but obviously you got a few more as well you can choose whether you want friends only private public sessions you can set a password S slight typo there and you can choose a lobby name as well typing skills are fantastic as you can see which people will then be able to view obviously they won't be able to view the password that is something if you're just making it a private lobby put a password on that and then tell the password to your friends and they'll be able to join you can cho again choose the number of laps the grid size the maximum number of human or uh, yeah number of human opponents number of AI opponents the opponent skill uh, your car class which again is basically you got identical and then you can choose a specific car class there as well and then you can choose cars within it but yeah your number of laps goes up to 250 again your maximum grid size will be locked to 16 if you're on console and it's 32 if you're on 64-bit PC if you're on 32-bit it is also locked to 16 like the consoles the maximum number of human opponents is obviously this will obviously reflect that as well I believe the maximum grid size is being uh, limited to the number of grid slots on my in the pits so if we quickly go for the second did a serve this should open it up to allow for the full 32 there you go yep so you can have up to 31 obviously I myself is one so I make up that 32 slot you can then also fill up with, with AI opponents you can choose their specific uh, rating as well and if you were to lower the number of human opponents say if you just want to race with you and one other friend 
can allow for a maximum number of human opponents and then the rest of the slots will be filled with AI there as well. You can then also choose your rolling start options. You could choose practice sessions up to 90 minutes once again, same with qualifying, all that sort of stuff there, and also a warm up to the race as well. Same again with the weather that we touched on in the single player, exactly the same settings there, so you can run with the full four settings or you can choose real weather. Sorry, that's what I meant by the real weather where it basically imports the weather data from the track location that you're currently racing in and inputs it into the into the game and it locks the current date type to real there as well and then also you can choose your starting time so you can start at midnight you can start in a night race if you'd really like and then something else that you can do in multiplayer is you've got a number of restrictions so you can force people into the cockpit view if you really want you can force manual gears you can force realistic driving aids if you turn that off you can choose what driving aids they're allowed and what they're not allowed obviously you can choose whether you want your damage off same again with the mechanical, you can also accelerate your tire wear and all that sort of stuff and then same with the fuel usage you can adjust that too, auto start engine and then flags and penalties you can turn on and off as well. So you've got a number of options there with regards to basically everything, quick race weekends, free practice, time trial sessions, she keeps popping up. You can basically choose a circuit, choose a track, you can then add ghosts for that specific track you can choose world records you've got your vehicle record so you've got your cart specific as you can see and then you've got your own lap times there you can have up to three ghosts within that the driver network unfortunately this is down at the moment but these are like essentially special events so this is usually something created by slightly mad studios they'll choose a specific car and uh, sorry a specific car and track combination and then you compete against other people to try and get into the top of the leaderboards so this is something that they update every now and then and you can just view the leaderboards for any cart and track combination there as well so yeah fair few options for you guys with regards to the game obviously you've got a few things coming soon here you also you've got your career as well as uh, the slightly mad studios dev team did do a video on that so take a look at that and see what options are available to you so yes Obviously, a couple more things that I would like to show you, but I'm probably going to hold off of those until post-release. But until then, basically just fiddle around with the game, enjoy it, try and find some settings that you like, and yeah, just have an absolute blast. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully I shall see you soon. Take care.